This is an overview of the DJI FPV Fly More Kit. It came in this box right here that will be in the description below the like button. So the outside looks like this. You have just a nice white box with a little bit of detailing on the back. So right here we have some manufacturer information and then we have this just language information right here. We have a seal on top that you'll just have to pull open and break and then you can open it from here. After opening the Fly More Kit, there's a few things that we're going to get. So first, we have our battery charging hub that it's going to come with. And then we're also going to get the intelligent flight battery because although I have them taken out of the box already and put on the stand right here, it comes with two intelligent flight batteries and also it comes with the charging dock. And it's in this nicely soft foam right here. This white thing that I made is actually not my creation. It's from a downloadable file that I found online from my 3D printer. Currently it's printing something right now. Not the exact box, but it is in the same white print. The filament for that will be linked below the like button. And the link to the actual STL file will be in the description below the like button as well. However, it's not a perfect design. I like it, but I don't love it. And so I will be catting my own and making it my own. A little bit bigger, possibly. Maybe have it dual-sided so I can get another Fly More kit in here and have them running in parallel with each other. Have a serial connection, but two of them which are in parallel. Because I already have another battery, another Fly More kit would mean two more batteries here. So looking at this dock, it's a pretty nice dock. It again slots in here and it's, it's pretty sturdy. As you can see, it's a little hard to get out, but after sliding it out up and over, it's going to look just like this. You have these three docks right here. You're not going to be really able to lay it flat like this. You really have to prop it up. So you're going to either have to put the batteries like this and then put it underneath, or you can put the batteries laying like this and have the charger go on top of it as well. But it is super easy to use. It is the number one accessory I would recommend with the DJI drone. It really makes it a whole lot more fun because one, even two batteries is not enough. So looking at this charging hub we have here, we have some information. So I always like to look at the input and output specs. The input right here is 25.2 volts and it has 3.4 amps. You multiply that together, it gets, gives us the wattage. I'll just round it down 25 by three. That's gonna give us about 75 watts. So this right here has our input right here, and that comes from our AC to DC power adapter. Now the Flymore kit does not come with an AC to DC power adapter, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to use the one that you get with your quad. Or you can go in the description below the like button where there's an eBay listing that has these, but it also comes with this here. Now, the one from the DJI website and a lot of the Amazon ones that I've looked at don't come with the actual charging cable right here. This cable is the one that plugs into the wall that then plugs into the AC to DC power adapter that's going to go at this bottom port here. So if we get that listing, we get one of these, plug it straight into here. We also have room to charge like all these three and then another one of these as well on the side. And then if I get another fly more kit, we can charge both at the same time. So these are pretty important as well, and they're relatively inexpensive. I believe they're only like $25, and it's a pretty good companion to what we have here with the fly more kit. But anyways, the fly more kit gives us an input of about 75 watts, I said, and then it tells us more information about the DJI technology. So that's the basics of the fly more kit. It has these little rubber feet on here that will not move when you put it down somewhere. But again, you're not really going to be charging it like this. If you put it down on the table and you plug this battery in on top of it, it's going to fall over because of the weight of the battery. So that is not a recommended way to charge it. With this, I just slot it in here and then I'm going to plug it in. So that's all for the DJI FPV Fly More Kit. Again, it comes in this nice box, it's some pretty standard cardboard comes with this nice foam as well. It does a pretty good job of protecting it. It really protects it all around. It's very nice and soft foam. We're gonna be looking over the manuals now. Now we're not gonna to go too much into detail with the batteries. That's just because that these are gonna be their own separate video. However, after we look at the manual for 
the DJI FPV Fly More Kit, we're going to be looking at this AC to DC adapter because it's pretty important as well. So looking at this, we can see that we have all the different specifications right here for one, two, and three. We have our power port, our status LED indicator, and then our battery ports, which are going to be these three right here. We also have a diagram of how this would work. We have a disclaimer here and then some warnings, basically saying to only use the charging that's included or the ones that are DJI approved. The ones that are from eBay are DJI approved. They are from DJI. Now we have an introduction, which is just telling us everything about it. So the DJI battery charging hub is designed to use with the DJI FPV intelligent flight battery. When used with the DJI FPV AC power adapter, which is what we have here, it can charge up to three intelligent flight batteries in sequence according to their power levels from high to low. So we go from the lowest to the highest when charging. The charging time for one battery is approximately 55 minutes. Of course, you should probably land your batteries when it's around 30%, so it should take less than 55 minutes to charge. Though depending on the heat of your battery, if your battery does not start charging right away, which we will go into more in depth in the actual battery video, that could be just because of the heat it needs to cool down first. We now have our usage, how it works, and we have status LED indicator descriptions. So we have descriptions. The blinking pattern is pretty important. If it's a solid yellow, that means no batteries attached. If it's a pulsating green, it means it's charging. If it's a solid green, it means all batteries are fully charged. If it's a blinking yellow, that means the temperature on the batteries is either too high or too low, and there's no further operation needed. It just needs to cool down or heat up to start charging. Solid red means the power supply or battery error. So we can unplug them and resume charging. So kind of just like a restart here. And that's going to be it for the DJI Intelligent Flight Battery kind of overview. We're going to have its own dedicated video on this. That's it going over the instructions for this as well. Now we're going to look at the AC to DC power adapter. So you need this for your Fly More kit. You can either use the one that came with the DJI one or the link below, which I found really nice. So if we look at this, we have our inputs here. And this takes between 100 to 200 volts, so it'll be great for American and European outlets, and it gives out 1.8 amps at a frequency of about 50 to 60 hertz. Now we have the USB, so it's not going to be any fast charging. There is a USB on board here, that's on the other side. You can use this to charge the goggle batteries or the remote. That is pretty useful as well. That's actually something I want to include on this new CAD design. I want to have a holder for the actual remote and the goggle battery, one where they can just slot in and start charging. That would be pretty nice here. Both the USBs are five volt, two amps. So a total of 10 watts. Again, you just multiply them together. We have the total power output, which is about 86 watts. So that means that the Fly More kit we said it total intakes, the input is about 75 watts. So when you fly with this Fly More kit, you're not gonna charge as fast as going through here if you just plug your battery straight into here. So if you were to plug your battery straight into here, it should charge faster than here just because of the total wattage input. This one takes about 75 watts. So that means that the maximum we would be able to charge at is 75 watts. Now, this one takes a maximum of 86 watts for the total output power. That's just output. It's outputting it to the battery. So you're charging that at 86 watts. We have a little diagram of how this would work. So that's going to be it for this entire video. We've gone over the AC to DC power adapter for our DJI. We have these cables that we would use as well. We've looked at our Fly More kit, which was the star of the show. Really recommend getting this. All the links will be in the description below the like button for the filament used for this as well as the STL file, but it will be under the AC to DC power adapter eBay listing, which will be under the DJI Fly More kit, which you can look at either on Amazon or the DJI website in a brief introduction to the batteries, which will have their own separate video.